morning guys, it's Uno again, and I recently got a request to do a tutorial on LFOs, and I thought this lesson would be appropriate if we did a little dubstep example. So I took the clip from the last one that I made, and I took it from 128 beats per minute to 140 beats per minute. Uh, I changed the kick so that it only plays uh, once a measure, and I changed the snare so that it uh, only plays... Uh, during the third beat instead of the second and fourth beat. Okay, and um, again, if you could check out my music, I got the link in the description. I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, check out uh, some of my productions. Uh, so, what an oscillation is, is a uh, sound wave that, uh, let me get in here. Okay, here we go. Um, it's a sound wave and uh, if you have an oscillation that moves at a high rate of speed, that is, it goes from the line here, the origin, goes uh, up, goes down, and then comes back to the origin, uh, the faster that that cycles, the higher the pitch will be. So let me demonstrate. Here's a sine wave. So you can see that that uh, sine is going up and down really, really, really fast. And let's take a look at the opposite. You'll see that that's a lower pitch and it's moving at a much lower speed as well. Um, how fast the wave cycles is determined, uh, or I'm sorry, it's called, uh, uh, it's measured in hertz. One hertz means that it cycles one time in one second, which is extremely slow. We can't even hear that low. Humans can only hear from 20 to 20,000 hertz, uh, or about 20 to 20,000 hertz. Um, so let's take a look at uh, LFOs now, now that you know a little bit about oscillations. Oh, and let me demonstrate what each oscillation looks like under the oscilloscope here. There's a sine. There's a triangle. There's a square. Something's not right. Oh, that's why. Alright, so you have an idea how they look now under the uh, oscilloscope. Um, basically, I want to just show you that they are physically different looking um, uh, wavelengths um, and it that's what determines the sound is uh, or its timbre is just the harmonics that they generate um, which are it's a little bit of a advanced topic so I'm not going to go too much into it but that's why they're different is just because they de uh, generate different uh, notes above the fundamental note so anyways uh, an LFO is usually below 20 hertz and you're probably thinking uh, how can I hear that well you can't hear it if you just play uh, if you just play an LFO uh, you're not going to be able to hear it at all because it's physically below what you can hear but what you can use it to do is to control other uh, parameters within a generator so for instance if you take this little oscillation here this LFO it's moving really really slow and you attach it to a filter. This is below one hertz, by the way. This uh, oscillation here, uh, you would definitely not be able to hear that. And you attach it to the filter here. Um, I'm going to show you what we want to accomplish. So you got that little wobbly thing there. And. Um, uh, let's say we want to add some uh, add, we want to make it automatic the filter, we want the filter to automatically go up and down and filter out different things so what we do is we attach this LFO to the filter okay and we want to set the speed uh, for a certain uh, speed whatever we want the speed to be so let's say we want to go at you know this uh, I think this is 16th notes 8th notes 16th notes. Okay, so um, 
as you see, every time the LFO goes up, the filter uh, as well goes up, and every time it goes down, the filter also filters out everything. And you can uh, adjust, as you adjust the speed of the LFO, uh, you can tinker with it, and um, you'll find that as you increase the speed, you increase the speed of the filter, right? And if you decrease the speed, you also decrease the speed of the filter. Right, so um, like I said, pretty simple. Um, and uh, let me just go over filters also really quick, uh, just to kind of get those out of the way. Uh, this is another little basic thing, um, but I know it might be a little confusing to people who are new to production, so let me go over. Uh, a low pass filter is uh, a filter where you filter out all the the high frequencies and only uh, let the lows pass and the high pass is the opposite it's a filter where it filters out all the uh, low frequencies and lets the highs pass and a band pass is uh, both of them kind of put together so that only one section of the frequencies uh, pass so let me demonstrate a low pass here and keep watching this uh, analyzer down here Okay, low pass, here's a high pass. And then here's a band pass. And there's a bunch of different filters that you can uh, find online or uh, buy different types. You can have formant filters or comb filters or just a whole bunch of different ones. Um, but those are the, the really, really basic ones. And um, yeah, those are just the, the really, really basic uh, filters. Um, and then, like I said, if you take, say, this base here, um, I created this base here. And let's say you add like a filter to it, uh, and you have the filter moving at a certain speed. Um, you can create kind of a dubstep wobble thing, or that's really how dubstep wobbles are made. So check it out. So like I said, that's kind of an old school little dubstep ditty I made there. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys understand now that uh, LFOs are used to uh, manipulate filters and any sort of parameter inside of a, a generator. And hopefully you guys understand more now about uh, oscillators and uh, how they are related to sound. And uh, hopefully you guys now understand more about uh, filters and how you can use uh, filters to filter out uh, high frequencies or low frequencies uh, or just kind of use it as an effect uh, to your choice like uh, you see here with the dubstep. Alright. And um, like I said before, I'd really, really appreciate it if you could uh, check out my songs that I have. Um, the link is in the description. Um, I'm going to have some more tutorials up pretty soon, hopefully. And um, hopefully we can start getting into some more advanced stuff uh, so I don't keep all you advanced users uh, bored. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, Hope you in, uh, enjoy the lesson, and um, yeah, thanks. See ya.